How you doing out there? Welcome to another one of my videos. There are many routines and techniques. Today I'm doing flat bench with pyramid sets up. Let's get to it. Now the weight I'm going to use is just for demonstration purposes. The weight that's best for you Go to my video, which is the 1RM video for Repetition Max, and that is how you find out what your true weight should be. Okay, let's not forget we're going to do wide grip. We're going to do basically a warm-up. As we begin our 12 reps, we bring the bar down just to touch our chest, and then we press up. We should have our grip correct so that we cannot lock our elbows. There are many ways you can do pyramiding. We're just doing pyramiding up. Some people can do pyramiding up and then come back down. Pyramiding is good for someone who doesn't have a whole lot of time to work out at the gym. You can work in your warm up and then get up into your heavy weights which is gonna build the muscle. Your reps can go as high as 15 when you start with light weights, but most people do 12, 10, eight, six and sometimes people go down to three. I want to take this moment to apologize for the visual. I don't know why the camera had been jerking and pausing. Okay we're starting our second set. We've added some weight. We are coming down to 10 reps. During my rest periods in the gym I'll look around the room and I see so many people just Doing exercise is totally incorrect. Um, the one thing about chest, no matter if you're doing flat bench, incline, or decline, when you're doing the exertion or pressing, you need to realize you're not just moving your arms or your hands, you are pressing the chest, the pecs, together in the center. If you've ever done close grip, you know what that feeling feels like. I know a lot of my clients who are very skinny and they don't have a whole lot of muscle yet, they don't understand what I'm talking about. But then after some time, they gain that muscle and they start to understand what that feeling feels like. So that's the actual movement, that's what you're doing, pressing the pecs together. We've added some more weight. We're going to do our eight reps. I want to repeat that with correct grip, you cannot lock your elbows. The guys out there adding more and more weight because they're trying to show up their friends, they are really turning a chest exercise into a tricep exercise. You gotta have a good wide grip. That's what helps bring that chest wider at the top. That'll give you that full V shape, especially when you get the waistline to come in more. Okay, we're doing our fourth set. We've added more weight. We're going to do six reps. We've done four sets. Now some people like to go five sets and in that case what you would do is add more weight and do three reps and that would give you five sets. Now that's really for someone who has been doing this for quite a while. All right. There's different levels really. There's The first level is the uh, beginner. Um, the second level is hypertrophy and the third level is maximal. Well, I hope this helps you understand how pyramiding works. And let me remind you, this is just one way to do pyramiding. There are very many routines and techniques, and I'll get into those and make those videos for you very soon. I want to correct whatever the sound and audio is before I make any more exercise videos. I hope you'll subscribe, give it a thumbs up, sadly, for the sound and quality, and see you in the next one.